Hi everyone! Today I'm going to review with you the phonics concept that we're working on this week. So we've worked on blends before in the past, right? Two sounds that you put together or three sounds you put together to make one new sound. So today we're going to look for blends in some words I'm going to show you and then I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with it. So I have two words here, tantrum and dandruff. Now if I look at the first sound in tantrum, t just T on its own, that's not a blend. But I see TR here, and that is a blend that we've learned. Tur, right? Tantrum. Good. And then in dandruff, same thing. The first sound, D, that's not a blend. That's just one sound. But if I look at the DR here, dr, that is a blend that we've learned. So dandruff and tantrum. Those are two words that we're going to break up into syllables now because this week we're going to be learning or focusing on words, two syllable words that have blends in them. So to remind you, syllables are the different parts of a word and I actually loaded onto the website the blazer fresh clap it out video if you remember that where they clap words into syllables, right? So for the word tantrum, there are two parts of that word, tan, trum, two syllables. In dandruff, same thing, dandruff. So when we're sounding out words that have two syllables, these words we can still sound out, they're longer, but all we need to do is just listen to the parts. So in tantrum, I hear tan, and then I can tap out tan. I could go t, a, n, tan, right, or tan. And then trum, same thing. This time I'm hearing a blend in the beginning. Trum, tr, uh, m, trum. And then I could spell tantrum, like this. And something I wanted to point out is I noticed that on our spelling test from this past week, some of us were forgetting about the Sammy rule. So to remind you, the Sammy rule is when we have a double F, a double L, a double Z, or a double S at the end of words that are followed by a short vowel. So in dandruff, I hear uh, the short U sound. So I know the F in this word needs to have a double F. It's our Sammy rule. So dandruff would have two Fs. I noticed that some of us on our spelling test were missing words like milled or kissed that had two S's or two L's and we're just writing one, which is okay. We haven't covered the Sammy rule in a while, but I just wanted to remind you of that. So that's what we're doing this week, finding some blends in multi-syllable words, and we'll keep practicing it throughout the week. So again, you can watch that Clap It Out video on the website if you want to remind you of syllables, and then get to practicing. All right.